Thank you, my God. Carto de Barba Nechanda. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Let's put our hands together and in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's give him a clap of friends one more time. Amen. I greet you this morning in the name of Jesus. We have come to the presence of our God. In the name of Jesus Christ. God who created us. In a miraculous way. So that he can found a friend. That he can converse with him. Hallelujah. Amen. He created a friend. That he can reveal his secrets unto him. You should have clapped your hands for that. Hallelujah. Amen. God left everything. That they may not speak, but only a human being must speak. Hallelujah. Amen. God created a man in a way that is not like an animal. The very same person. He gave him authority. That he should rule. The very same person. He spoke to him. He said, You must give him authority. Which one do one then have one? Now, wrong of faith, wrong of Zimona. We not favored by God. We are sick. Everything that is wrong of faith, wrong of Zimona. We not favored by God. Marachina Chamba is a kid. God helps me the most. Oh, no, your mutu. Mutsimo Bariba Chamba Bari. God said, I am sorry that I have created him. That very same person. God said, I regret that I have created him. Because the very same person. In every creation. He has a way of speaking to him. He is the one who is so difficult than any other thing. Oh, it's not together. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That very same person. It was the bird was also better than him. Since the bird was told and given time, that when the dawn comes, it must begin to come. But that very same person. When the dawn comes, that person will remain sleeping. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you heard birds? In the morning, have you heard them? Hallelujah. Amen. When they start singing, we are the one who say, now the dawn has come. Isn't it so? Hallelujah. Amen. Now the dawn has come. Back then, 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 Knowing that it is now two. Knowing that it is now two. Knowing that now it's four. Amen. Most of our fathers, our parents and our grandparents, when they woke up to go to work, it was the crowd that wake them up. Isn't it so? Was it the head who woke up and said, it is morning? And they knew that. When it cries for the first time, it means that now it is gone. If it cries the first time, it means that it is in the middle of the night. That very same cry, that cried three times, it was the one that cried three times, it was the one that cried three times, wanting a person to deny Jesus. It crawled three times. Isn't it so? Isn't it in the Bible? Isn't it Peter who did not Jesus? Meaning that. When a crop crossed the line. But I may deny Jesus by the way. 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 We are going before God. 
You and I are going to ask forgiveness. If David went to heaven because he knew how to ask for forgiveness and also taking a decision to ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ taking a step to go before him Hallelujah. Amen. There are many people. There are many people. That died on the road. But you got to me such being. They were chasing after time. I am very much need to go to work. I am very much need to go to work. And he began to speed. On the way. He lost his life. Because of time. But he lost his life. Because of time. So now, the accident in Ghana. How many accidents that you and I have encountered in Ghana? Because we are trying to chase time. I'm not referring to only the example about cars. I'm not referring to only cars. How many things were wrong while we were chasing after time? And time never had a problem. It was you and I who had a problem. Because we could not manage time fruitfully. We are going before God. We are going before God. Evangelist Nechipepe. One day when Jesus Christ was in synagogue. At Anna 12 years. While he was still 12 years of age. He spoke the message of God. Old men who were there inside. They said. This wisdom. Where does he acquire them from? Because they have learned so much. Seriously so. They thought that they are very wise. But they did not have a revelation. Every day. When the prophet is telling you. She will speak revelation for the sake of your life. She will speak revelation for the sake of We are going before God. We are going to ask for forgiveness. We are going to ask for forgiveness from God. I'm also going to ask for forgiveness from God. I understand the message of Job. When the Bible says Job will wake up in the morning and ask for forgiveness from God and also ask on behalf of his children. Say, if my children have sinned, Lord, forgive them. Job chapter 42. John chapter 42. We see God remembering Job. And doing him greater things. And the Bible says. The children that he had. Were more beautiful than the previous children. The riches that he had. Was more than the one he had before. In the name of Jesus. What was the question? Was the prayer he prayed yesterday. Amen. Bring the soul. Amen. Amen. remember me. Hallelujah.
Why are we supposed to worship this God? We worship him because he created us. Because he is God Almighty. We have to worship this God. Because he is the one who opens the ways of our lives. This morning, we are going to say, I want somebody to say, I'm yearning to worship God. I want somebody to say, I'm yearning to worship God. God, fill my spirit so that I can worship him. Fill up my spirit so that I can worship him. We are living in a time. And that people do not want to worship God. People always want to boost about their friends. People always want to boost about their friends. But we have to worship God in the name of Jesus. We have to praise God in the name of Jesus. We have to see him as a holy God. As a God that is in the earth. As a God that is our Savior. We have to worship God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm saying, do you know this God? Do you know this God? Do you know what he does? If you know what he does, worship him through that. 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 Worship him
I've said it when we started here. Praise the Lord. Everything God created through time. And indeed God worked through time. When we read the word of God. In the book of Ecclesiastes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3. Chapter number 3. The Bible says, For everything there is a season. A time for every activity under heaven. Everything that is done in this world has got its time. Last week when we were here during the service, I picked up something. Every person that was standing in the judgment, they will be asked a question, what did you do with the time that I gave you? And I want to ask you and I that the time that God has given us, what are we doing about it? The Bible shows that everything that is done under heaven has got its own time. The time that God has given to us, every one of us has been given time. You might not have been given money, but you have been given time. You might not have been given children, but you have been given time. You might have not been given marriage, but you have been given time. The time that God has given to us, what are we doing about it? Allow me to tell you this. People have been stolen their time by Satan. Because you and I, the time that we have, if we utilize it, what God has given us, it can become accomplished in the name of Jesus. We have been stolen our time. Because time is very important. We have been stolen our time. Chipigata, Takara, 
it's not time to enjoy. We only see your time of crying. And I'm talking to somebody. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says there is a time to sing. And there is a time to harvest. And I can't we see you having that time of harvesting. Praise the Lord. We see you having the time to plant, but we don't see you having that time of harvesting. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We see you with the time of dying, but we don't see the time of life. Can I talk it to somebody here? This time that has been stolen, it has to come back in the name of Jesus. This time that has been stolen, it has to come back in the name of Jesus Christ. I will have joy. I will have fast. I will receive what I deserve in time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said, there is a time to build and there is a time to destroy. But I want to ask you about your time. Is it not only the time of destruction? We don't see you having the time to build. Everything is being destroyed. There is no time to build that we see. But this afternoon, my time has to become visible. The one who stole my time will have to live it in the name of Jesus. The one who stole my time of giving birth will have to live it alone. The one who stole my time of health will have to live it alone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You people of God, time is very important. I am saying time is very important. Things are not right. They are not getting well because your time is not in order. It has been lost. Have you ever read a watch that is lost in time? When they ask you time, and you realize that your time is 5 o'clock in the evening. But during the real time, it's 11 o'clock in the afternoon. The watch of your life, is it not lost? The watch of your life, is it not lost? Are you able to read time accordingly? The Bible speaks about the 10 women. Five were wise. And then the five were foolish. And the Bible says this young girls. All of them they were waiting for the groom. But the difference is. Those who were wise. They read the time in the right way. And they are lamps. They were having oil. That time will allow. That when the groom arrives. They will find their lamps being shiny. These foolish ones. They couldn't read time accordingly. They are lamps. They didn't have enough oil. Allow me to tell you this. If you are able to read time. You will not be confused by anything. When you are able to read your time. Your things will have progress. I want to ask you this afternoon. Is your time. Is it in order. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your time. God has given us time. During the time of prayer, what is happening? During the time of hearing a message, what is happening? During the time of receiving a prophecy, what is happening? During the time of you to change, what is happening? During the time of you to receive your healing, what is happening? During the time for your upliftment, what is happening? Is your time not stolen? Hallelujah. Praise 
is the Lord. This time, we will become accountable about it. We will have to give account for it. You will, you will not give a reason that Satan stole this time for me. You are going to account. I am going to finish. But somebody will have to cry for their time. That their time should become beneficial so that they can benefit their time in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Allow me to talk about Abraham. I am going to finish. When I read the word of God, I spoke and said, Abraham, he was a man who utilized his time. Hey. Hello? Abraham. Abraham. When his father died, God visited him. In the book of Genesis chapter number 12. And God said to Abraham, Leave. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And God said, It is the time for you to leave this family. And Abraham read his time correctly. And he left during that time. When your time has come for you to leave, are you leaving? When your time of deliverance has come, are you getting delivered? When your time of prophecy has come, are you receiving your prophecy? When your time of salvation has come, are you getting saved? I am asking you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Abraham was able to read the time accordingly. He read the time accordingly. When Abraham was under the bush of Mamor, the angels came to visit him. And he was again able to read his time. I am saying he was able to read his time. The Bible says Abraham 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 he slaughtered a small cow for the sake of these angels. After doing that, the prophecy came. Next year, during this time, your wife Sarah will have a son. If you read your time accordingly, if you read your time accordingly, the time of giving, you will do it so that next year, during that time, God will have done what he wanted to do. Read your time accordingly. I am saying, read your time accordingly. There are people that when their time of blessing has come, they see poverty. They see poverty. Hello? I am saying, they see what? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If God is speaking to me about this time, saying I shall do this and that, or oh God said I shall give now, I can see poverty. Whereas God is seeing blessings that during this time, there will be happening in my life. Read your time accordingly. Read your time accordingly. It will save you. Did you hear me when I arrived here in the morning? I said the first thing I'm going to ask for forgiveness from God because I didn't come here on time. Since 9 o'clock until 5 past 9, there might have been my miracle along those times, but I missed my miracle because I didn't utilize my time accordingly. Your enemy has stolen your time. It has the proof. 
Just by falling asleep as I'm preaching, you have missed your miracle. Are you getting this? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just missing your hour of salvation. You have missed your miracle. God help me. So that I can benefit during my time. God help me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Others time was stolen. Are you getting this? Are you getting the message? God has to help us. And I want to ask you, sitting where you are, how is your time? I am saying, how is your time organized? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am saying, how is your time organized? Can I quickly have four people that can come and stand here? Four people. I wish God could help you. Can you stand? Master Mabunga, what time is it now? I don't have a clock. What time is it? I don't have a watch with me. What is the time now? I don't have the time. What is the time? Five minutes to twelve. Five minutes to twelve. All these people standing here, they didn't answer me correctly. They answered me being in flesh. The answer that should have been given is that when the prophet is asking what time is it? It is my time of crying for my time to come to me. I should have even called the evangelist. He would have told me that he doesn't have the time. Are you getting this? Can you see the difference? What time is it? When you are able to read your time, when you are able to read your time, you will say it is a time of new beginning. When you are able to read your time, you will say it is the time of repentance. When you are able to read your time, you will, you will say it is the time are you receiving this? What time is it? You were also going to answer me five minutes to twelve. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you think I can ask you about the time of the watch when I have it in my hand? I want, I want to see what time do you think it is to you. It is the time of my healing. It is the time of my deliverance. That's 38. The man of 38 years of age was staying across the lake, but he failed to know the time of his healing. Are we together? As if five to twelve. It is not five minutes to twelve. It is the time for me to repossess my time from my enemy. It is the time that I should take back in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and take your seat. When you are able to read your time accordingly, you will never allow yourself to come to church and sit here and go back with nothing. Seriously, you will never allow that. You will never allow yourself to enter a service and go back without meeting God. This is the time of hearing from God so that he can help me. But if you fall asleep during the time of God, what are you going to harvest? We should never allow ourselves to miss the Lord. If it is the time for you to go to school, go to school. If it is the time of getting married, get married. If it is time to build, build in the name of Jesus. If it is time for prayer, go for prayer in the name of Jesus. 
If you are not able to do what you are supposed to do, it is because your time has been stolen from you. Each one of us has to go back with our time today. I am saying each one of us has to go back with our time today. Each one of us has to go back with our time. And your things have to be accomplished in time. The things of your family to be accomplished in time. You repent in time. You get healed in time. You become successful in time. Time has to come back in the name of Jesus. There is somebody who is supposed to receive their deliverance in the name of Jesus. Because your time of your life has been stolen from you. The time of your life has been stolen from you. The time of seeing God has been stolen from you. In the name of Jesus. All of us standing on our feet. Each one of us has to go back with our time. Do we have people here who feel that their time has indeed been stolen? Do we have people here that are saying, servant of God, our time has been stolen? Can you please lift up your hands if you are here? Those who are saying, I can feel it, my time has been stolen. I am not able to read time accordingly. My time has been stolen. When you speak God and say, there is time to enjoy and there is time to cry. But to me, what is happening is only time of crying only. To me, there is time of planting, but there is no time to harvest. Hello? Am I talking to somebody here? Now? Time of getting sad has to come to an end. Time of being sad has to come to an end. And you should have laughter coming your way. Because the enemy has stolen. He has stolen your time. I am saying he has stolen your time. He has stolen your time. That there should be something that is given back to you. Instead of things getting Death to you. It is only time of death that is coming your way. It is only death that is coming to you. You and I have to pass over in the name of Jesus. I am saying you and I have to come pass over in the name of Jesus. Are we still together, church? Are we still together, church? Praise the Lord. I want to speak to another young girl here. Your time of growing up has been stolen from you. Your time has been stolen from you. May God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Your time of growing up has been stolen from you. Your things are not happening in order. Simply because your time has been stolen. I want to speak to somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. Even though you can, they say you cannot outgrow education. But your things have now become abnormal. Your time of learning has been stolen from you. This afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak up and say, may God deliver you. Your time of education has to come back in order in the name of Jesus Christ. I call upon this afternoon the one whose time of prayer has been stolen. The one whose time of prayer has been stolen. Take back your time of prayer this afternoon. Take back your time of prayer in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I am calling upon that in the name of Jesus this afternoon you have to harvest. You deserve to harvest. I am saying you deserve to harvest. You deserve to harvest the things of life. You deserve to harvest in your family. You have to deserve to harvest in your life in the name of Jesus this afternoon may God take control may God take control in the name of Jesus Christ I am saying in the mighty name of Jesus Christ your things should have been in order long ago but for time for them to get well it has been stolen I am saying they should have been in order long ago it has been stolen. 
The time for you to work came long ago, but it was stolen from you. The time of giving birth, it's long that it has come, but it was stolen from you. Your time of marriage, it's long that it has come, but it was stolen from you. The time of promotion, it's long that it has come, but it was stolen from you. I am calling in the name of Jesus Christ that may God deliver you. May God deliver you. May God deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. With our hands lifted up. We are going to pray. Each one of us will have to speak with God. That God when you created me, you gave me time. You wanted my things to go with time. You wanted things to happen in my life in time. But along the way, I missed the time of my life. Hello? I and my time, we are not working together. The enemy came and stole. In other instances, I sold my time by myself. But I am praying to say, God, forgive me. So that I can receive back my time. I hear God saying another message. That time, that somebody is going to claim this afternoon it is going to come back together with their good things